Hello everyone, welcome back. So without wasting any time, I will directly tell you the agenda of this video. Today we will see the concept of decision task, how we implement it in the flow, how it works. So as you can see, I have already created one process hiring demo. With the help of this flow, we will see the concept of decision task. Okay, so if you click here, then you will find uh, this one. This is decision task. So it's a space where you can write some action rules or conditions that may provide logic to your service flow, whatever you are working. So in this process hiring demo, my decision task is this one. Okay, the first activity is user task. Here user applicant will fill some information. Okay, this is hiring demo process. So candidate will fill some information and then the flow will move to my decision uh, task activity. Right. So here system will, this is system link. So here system will check if it is matching all the conditions, all the requirements or not. Whatever the conditions that you have written here, it will check if it is matching everything or not and then based on this the flow will move further if it is matching then it will move to human resource section if not then here send rejection mail and the process will end here so this is how we are implementing this flow i show you a step by step so this is the main flow of this process hiring demo and application form is the first activity of this process one more thing i have already created one business object hiring bio these are the parameters of this bio candidate name batch university cgp agree email we are going to use this bio further in the process okay as you can see this is the first activity application form i have already created one service client side human service and inside coach i have already created one form as you can see i have already attached here inside implementation part same client side human service okay so user will fill that form and the flow will move to this section i show you i'm talking about this form okay so user will fill this form and then this is a submit button this is service closing button then flow will move to the system check this is decision task so for this i have already created one service system check service so let's go inside this so here in this decisions you will write your logic like i have written few logics here and if you want to create more space like this just click here see and you can write your logic here so as you can see here i have written few logics like if hiring batches 20 20 21 22 then set is compliant to one same here if university name starts with iit or indian institute of technology then set is compliant to one is compliant is my output data okay i will use this one further in the process so this is where you write logic inside this decisions now the next task is the flow will move from system check to this gateway see i am using is compliant here is compliant was the output data from this system check decision task right so i am using this is compliant variable here if tw dot local dot is compliant equal equal one then the task will move to human resource otherwise it will go to 
here send rejection mail and the process will end here <clears throat> as you can see this is my applicant form here I will pass data I will fill these all details and click on submit button then what will happen the flow will move to system check that is my decision task there I have written my all conditions so system will check if it is matching all the conditions or not if it matches then the flow will move to human resource and if not then it will pass to send rejection mail activity and go to end okay so I am giving here batch 2021 that is in my condition okay then uh, what is the expected output the flow will move to human resource as this is matching my all conditions it should move to human resource so I am passing this data here let's see as you can see the flow has moved to human resource means it matches all the conditions that applicant has provided in its form okay as you can see here the value of is compliant is 1 these are the details that applicant has provided candidate name university batch so batch is 2021 so this is one of the conditions that I have written in my decision task okay so that's why is compliant is 1 and the flow move to human resource so this is how we implement decision task in a process